Hi guys, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. What I'm going to show you guys today is the, the contractor who uh, called me in to repair this. He says, Kirk, I used um, good pneumatic tools. I salvaged what I can, but the paper is very, very brittle. And man, guys, that's so common. This is a 90 year old house. The whole rear has been replaced because of the brittleness and water leaking. So I told him, I said, well, we're only as good as what we're left with. It's uh, depending on if it's a 90 year old house, how well they took care of it in the first 90 years. Uh, if you paint it a lot, you will keep the membrane lasting a lot longer. Anyhow, the, the membrane here, we're going to try to, we're going to break out a little bit more. We're going to slide some paper under here. What I really wanted to show you is we're just here to fix this. And I told him, We'll put it back together the best we can, and all we can do on these sides here, he's broken it out. I told him, I'll try again. I got a, uh, a tool here, which if you use a hammer, what you do is you push the stucco into the deteriorated paper. It does more damage than good. If you use a really, really good pneumatic tool, you can salvage what you can. Sometimes you can't salvage anything. And I've seen houses with no paper and no wire. The only thing holding it up is the stucco itself. So. What I really wanted to show is this. I, the homeowner came out and I was just looking down here. I can see there's no paper here. This is pulled away from the wall a half inch. So I was saying, gee, here in my house, I see this buckle right here. This buckle separates a quarter inch to a half inch. Now, there's no paper here, so this was a problem area. Water went down here, swelled the wood. When the wood swelled, it pushed it away from this stucco. It swells, then it shrinks back. Now that creates a path for the water to go in. So the water's been going in here. I said, what we could do is we can, we can break it. We can do a little exploration right here. And if we, if we can get some paper, that's just great because personally, I don't want to take it all out. But I said, worst case scenario is uh, I can see a little paper over here, but I can't see any here. And then this large buckling indicates that water's been getting in there. We've got two more things that are making this happen too. And that's the stucco is down to the foundation with no drip screen, which locks it in, and then the concrete locks it in. So it's locked in two different places, and water's getting in there. That's what's creating this particular buckle. A thousand different reasons for buckles. That's, that's just one of them. Anyhow, we're going to get started. I want to try to open up a wee bit more up here, and I want to do a little uh, exploration here. If that proves my theory that there's no paper, we're going to remove it from here to here, come straight down, repaper it, give it some relief, and put it all back together. You'll see it as we're doing it. Alright guys, last thing you do when you repair this window is you caulk your seams. Now, what I'm going to do on this particular um, high end is not only am I going to caulk my seams here, and if you use your finger, I don't, I don't advise you to use your finger, use a brush or something, otherwise you're going to poke yourself with one of these wires. I've done it a whole bunch of times, but anyway. Um, <coughs> What you're probably not seeing is I've got a very fat coat of elastomeric paint on here. It's rubber. So I'm taking my knife and I'm cutting that rubber off because it's going to interfere with my tie-in when I come back to do the stucco work. Also, we got underneath the existing paper. We just you shimmy back and forth. I had the camera on fast motion. I'd look like a cartoon character, I'm sure, but we're trying to shimmy it in here. We shimmy it as far back on all of this as we can until we hit a nail. And then you can't go back any further. What I'll generally do after I put my staples in, now my staples, here's our studs, studs, studs. But we have to staple around here to get this wire flat so it doesn't protrude past this existing wall. So I'll just generally take my hammer now and tap anything because when I come to plaster this, if I have anything past this plane, it's going to stick out. So I'm going to go all the way around here. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal these guys right here too with plaster. And when you have a wall where there's very little workable paper left, and I've had about 
thousand of them. Okay, maybe about 400. Where there's no paper left, this is about the best you can do. You just caulk everything. I kind of beat up my key. We have a, a key right here for stucco, meaning it's so the, the stucco doesn't crack. But I compromised my key, but I'm more interested in waterproofing what they have here. So we're going to caulk all of this around here. The sides here. I'm not going to caulk the bottom of this. We don't ever want to do that. We caulk the sides here, and we're done. Anyway, my name is Kirk. I'm with uh, Kirk Giordano Plastering. My son and I both took care of this. We're going to come back later and uh, do the scratch and brown coat. I want to thank you folks for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.